extra time. Joel's Telegraph makes your life You hardly really need to spell out why. I mean, at the moment we have our own chess on the air, which I'll be going to next week, but uh, ideally we would just be part of the Olympic Games. Um, the good thing for us is uh, chess could really fit into either the summer or the winter one, so uh, it should be easy in theory for us to get in. There's a group of mind sports which are trying to get in, and I hope, uh, I hope it'll happen. Um, anyway, there's always a kind of bureaucratic lag, so it'll take the best part of a decade, but uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope at some point at least it gets accepted. I think uh, we can see on the front row that Bengali food also works fine. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I think some of you might remember that I played my first Grandmaster tournament when I was just finished my international master title and uh, I was starting out. I played it right here in Calcutta in 1986, uh, Tata Steel Grandmasters then. And um, after that, I have played not very much, but occasionally uh, in India. But um, I think to have fellow 10 top 10 players here and, and make a real super tournament out of it, uh, it's, uh, I'm very happy and very excited to be playing. We now have uh, four or five players in the top 100. Um, Hari has uh, been uh, in the top 40, let's say, for a while now, and uh, Vidit is coming along very strongly. Um, most of our players now have an incredible amount of experience. So at that point, I, even I was discovering or dabbling, uh, getting my feet wet in, a, in the chess world, so to speak. Everything was new, uh, but uh, if you take someone like uh, for instance, hardly a play is not worth it. So, um, we, now India is just fully a presence in the chess world. Uh, if you ask most top players uh, where the world champion from 2040 or 2050 will come from, most of them say India or China. Um, that's just the base assumption. If you look at uh, junior competitions, uh, we send the most participants, most open tournaments, majority of participants are Indian. Uh, so, there's clearly a huge uh, wave of interest here. And uh, for me, it's like night and day. Uh, how, how it began back then and how it is now. Having been through it all before, uh, I think I focused more on the chess. Whereas in the earlier attempts, you're still overwrought by the occasion. You think of the stakes and all that. Somehow, I can, and I cannot say I did this or I did that, but somehow, in, in, when I finally got it right, I had the feeling that um, uh, I had gotten over a lot of the stuff, maybe by practice simply. Um, so, in, in many Olympic sports as well, you'll need to keep on persevering. Um, and you'll need to keep learning and getting more experience. But at one point, you'll just figure it out, I think. Generally, these days, my form uh, wobbles a lot more. Um, I have noticed though that most players suffer from the same phenomenon. Uh, no one is able to keep a kind of stability going on and on forever. Uh, I mean Carlson maybe a couple of years ago or like someone like Caruana this year, but it really stands out as an exception. Most players wobble a lot. Um, so I'm not particularly concerned or uh, thinking about it a lot. Um, you play well when you play well, but you have to give your best everywhere. Surya. It started much earlier, so uh, if I remember correctly, 2002 we started collaborating. In the match with Topalov, I, I was uh, talking about it a few days earlier, that uh, before game 10, I had run out of openings to play. Um, and uh, he revived the Grinfeld for one day, and uh, that was nice. 
I also remember um, uh, very clearly against uh, Gelfand in the tiebreak, there was this King March and uh, that was uh, incredibly beautiful. It was so beautiful I wanted to play it in the tiebreak regardless. So, uh, you know, uh, just someone with whom I've spent many, many years and uh, he was there at all, at all the highlights of my career. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.